next up, why not BMW? Hello YouTube, and today we're going to discuss why not BMW. Okay, let's start off. They're expensive. Um, you're not you're not buying a, a Japanese bike that's been discounted. It's not going to be cheap. Uh, so it's going to be the expense. It's definitely you know up there with you know Harley Davidson and Indian. Um, if you're short, you're not going to want to buy them. You know, most likely, unless you get one of the new R18s. You know, I do know people that are short that adapt to them and make changes and they work. But, um, you know, it is what it is. They also don't suffer from poor maintenance. Uh, suffer well. Um, whatever BMW says to do, do. You know, there are sheets out there at dealerships you can download for the maintenance schedules. Um, if you don't, you're gonna get butt hurt. Um, if they break, they're damn expensive to fix. Uh, and, and going along with that is, uh, are they the most reliable bikes? I would say no, they're not. I mean, Harley Davidson's might even rate a little higher in reliability. So there's that. Um, what else? If culture matters to you, that could make a difference as well. Um, BMW riders tend not to be uh, woven into the same culture, let's say, as the American cruiser segment. Uh, diff you know, they don't follow by the same narratives and whatnot and beliefs. Sorry for the hoary appearance, but um, it's Sunday and um, don't have to go to work yet. Anyway, I thought I'd take a time out on the last um, statement I made on why not BMW. Um, I thought maybe I was getting a little too much into the weeds and quite honestly, maybe over the top. So let's recap this. Basically, um, the point I wanted to make is that if culture matters to you, you know, depending on where you fall culturally, uh, motorcycle-wise, because there are differences between people that, let's say, buy a Harley-Davidson or Indian, and then we have people that buy uh, Euro bikes that are um, partial to them. Uh, some people like the big four Japanese stuff. Some people get all the above. Um, my observations in being in the BMW community now for 11 years or so um, is that it is different from uh, what I see in the Harley Davidson community. That's all. Um, so if you're into, you know, um, the red, white, and blue hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet, and Buy American, and that kind of thing, um, mm, not as much, not so much. The type of narratives that you know are common that I see uh, in the Harley community um, are li are less prevalent in the BMW community. Just saying, uh, more liberal, more open, um, probably a lot more white collar people. Um, I'm not saying that uh, if you're partial to certain things as a Harley Davidson owner, you shouldn't buy a BMW. But uh, if being social. It's not that they make a big deal if you own a Harley in the uh, BMW community as a whole. Um, lots of them own both. Not lots. Some. Um, but uh, there's also some derision, too, from some. And then there's some that just don't care. So, like myself. Uh, but all I'm saying is uh, if culture matters to you and you're into a certain... Um, mindset that needs to re be reinforced by the people around you um, it may not be a fit and I, I say that you know having owned Japanese motorcycles um, and now I said a BMW for 11 years uh, um, having gone into uh, Harley dealers there are times I feel like um, 
at a place. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's kind of like going to Disney and you're not one of the characters. So <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, anyway, um, I guess the reason too I'm cutting into this too is because during my little rant on the motorcycle, uh, the camera cut out, the battery went dead. I thought I had a lot more battery than I did, and I didn't. So I never even got to complete uh, my whole uh, monologue, if you will. So there's that. Anyway, guys, as usual, you be you. Everyone else is taken, trust me. And I'll see you down the road. And uh, that's about it. I really don't have much else to say, you know? Um, I know it's been a while, but um, I've been busy. Work got crazy. Um, you know, with the fall semester coming back and everyone is on campus, it's been a little nutty. Um, and then it's the whole COVID thing um, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I've had a few challenges in my personal life too. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about you. And like I said, you be you. And um, have a great week. It's Sunday. Um, and I'll uh, talk to you when I talk to you. Have a great day.